Welcome, welcome! Today we'll be doing the third build in my Four Seasons build series. For anyone who's new here, this series is inspired by a comment that I got on my first video. And today's theme is fall. Here's the Pinterest board for inspiration. I'll be honest with you guys, this video is a bit cursed. Um, first, I couldn't upload it last week because my phone broke and I use it for my voiceovers. But then something even worse happened as I was building it. Something went wrong with my recording software and I just lost all of the footage for the furnishing of the outside and the entire first floor. I was absolutely devastated. Uh, I decided instead to just show you a stop motion style for the exterior and the first floor. Hopefully it's not too distracting. I mean, who knows, you guys might actually end up liking this stop motion style better than the typical speed build, so make sure to let me know in the comments if this was enjoyable or not. I really hope you guys don't mind, I just, I didn't feel like redoing the whole thing, obviously. So for the exterior, I went for more of a craftsman style, I don't know why, but it feels more like fall to me. And inside I used a lot of deep earthy tones, basically the kinds of colors you would find in autumn leaves. And I also used the autumnal swatches of seasons and eco lifestyle objects like that rug in the entrance or the curtains in the living room. I've always seen those swatches and obviously never really have a reason to use them and this build was just the perfect excuse so I just had to. I was really excited for this build because fall is my favorite season. I mean, obviously my birthday is in the fall, so that helps a little bit, but I'm also just not a fan of the extreme warmth that we get here in the summer, so the mild fall weather is so much better for me, I find. And I also obviously took advantage of this build to use as much deep green shades as I could. Surprisingly though, none of the bedrooms are green this time. Or actually, you know what? That's a lie. I think one of the kids' bedroom upstairs is green. Um, yeah, I guess I'm a lost cause for that. As you can see from the kitchen and the living room, I really went for a more cluttered vibe in here. I feel, at least for me, my animal instinct to gather and hoard everything gets really strong in the fall. It's almost like I'm a little squirrel preparing for the winter. Uh, so my house personally tends to get way more cluttered as winter gets closer. But I mean, that might also just be me. Who knows? <laughs> but that's why I went for very much more cluttered style in here. Overall, I wanted this house to feel cozy and warm, like the kind of place you'd want to cuddle up with a blanket and a, a hot cocoa. And I also didn't go the Halloween slash Thanksgiving route with this. I think I want these builds to feel more like the essence of the season and not necessarily the holidays related to the seasons. For example, I want my winter house to feel like winter and not Christmas. So although there are some pumpkins on the porch and that kind of stuff, I went for more of the cottage living pumpkins and not the carved Halloween ones from season. So the downstairs is almost done and we can move on to the speed build part of the speed build. Again, I'm really sorry about this mishap. I Believe me, I was very, very sad when I noticed that it hadn't been recording. So with these bedrooms, I often decorate bedrooms based on a single object. So in this case, when I saw this swatch of the growing together tree wall decal, I just, I had to use it, obviously. It's a fall tree. <laughs> and I decided to just kind of build the whole room's color scheme and vibe around it. By the way, the mod that you saw me use just now to lower the lamp is the Tool Mod by Twisted Mexi. I only recently downloaded it because I wanted to use its resize function, especially on rugs, because this mod allows you to kind of go in between sizes when making things bigger or smaller and I find that to be
be really helpful with rugs. It is quite an intimidating mod, I'll be honest. Uh, and I'm still not super comfortable using it for its full potential. But if you are interested, the link to this mod and all of the other ones that I use are in the description below. I made two kids rooms in this house, but I'm imagining that the green one is for a younger child and then this one is for a slightly older kid. I know we just got a new life stage with infants and that was a whole ordeal. But sometimes I really wish that The Sims had tweens, kind of an in-between between teens and, and kids. Because I feel like the transition in this game from a child to a teenager is, is really sudden, it's really abrupt. And I just kind of wish there was a slight in-between. Anyway, in this room I used the cottage living wallpaper and rug because the little mushrooms just gave me those autumn vibes. Alright, now we can jump into the game so I can give you guys a quick tour. So here in the entrance, I really decorated the little entrance and, and the porch kind of using this reference image that was on my Pinterest board. With all of the pumpkins everywhere. I really went all out. This swing is from the growing together pre-order bonus thing um i try not to use these things in my builds too much because i hate the idea of that pre-order bonus but it just fit too well here then there was that little entrance and then through here is the kitchen and dining room that picture from seasons is just perfect obviously that's what it's made for and then the cluttered kitchen and through here is the main bedroom and with an ensuite bathroom here. I really like this bed from Cottage Living. And then back through the entrance down here is another bathroom slash laundry room. I did notice that I forgot hampers in the bedrooms but I added it in the version that's on the gallery so don't worry about that. Then here is the living room. I love those curtains from Eco Lifestyle. And then upstairs, please excuse me, struggling with <laughs> tab mode. And then upstairs, there's a little landing, and then here's the first bedroom. I think it's so cute with all the wall decals. And then here's the other bedroom, the green and orange one. Alright you guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, especially with all the little mishaps that this build caused. I, I really appreciate all of your support and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It really helps me out. Uh, this build, along with all of my other ones of course, is available on my gallery. My ID is just the same as my channel name. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.